Vice President Harris, meanwhile, is working to shore up her support among black voters. In Michigan yesterday, she sat down with radio host Charlemagne Tha God. Her campaign is especially focused right now on winning over black men. Ed O'Keefe is in Detroit with that part of the story. Ed, good morning to you. Gail, good to see you. Vice President Harris used that radio interview to defend herself against accusations. She's doing this outreach now just because of political timing. And community leaders we spoke to here in Detroit say the Harris campaign still has a lot of work to do. This is going to be a hard race. We are going to win. But in order to win, Vice President Harris's campaign's working to show up support among black voters. Polls show their support's holding steady compared to what President Biden earned four years ago. But there are signs Harris might struggle to turn out black men, as a higher number are signaling interest in former President Donald Trump. In a conversation with talk show host Charlemagne the God, Harris responded to accusations she's only reaching out now for political convenience. What I'm talking about right now is not new and is not for the sake of winning this election. This is about a long-standing commitment. But Pastor Charles Williams II, who supports Harris, is worried. But the real concern, in my opinion, is, you know, what are we going to do about making sure that everybody feels included? So he's teaming up with local business, political, and music industry leaders for a bus tour next week to convince fellow black men to back Harris. A lot of black males are not into the Harris campaign. And I think this should have been done a while ago. We have tens of thousands of people that do not intend to vote and don't give a damn about Kamala, Trump, or anyone else because they don't see how this campaign, this candidacy, makes one bit of difference in their lives. This group knows they need to explain the differences between Harris and Trump. Gut check. Is she going to win? I believe she's going to nearly pull it off. I believe she's going to win. I think it's touch and go right now. I see shades of the Hillary Clinton campaign with the uh, arrogance of a Democratic Party out of touch with the electorate. I believe she's going to win. Our thanks to Reverend Williams for hosting us for that conversation. Now, the vice president wakes up here in Detroit and is headed to the Philadelphia suburbs for a rally with at least 100 Republicans, including many former lawmakers who've endorsed her campaign. And she's sitting for an interview with Fox News, first Democratic presidential nominee to do so in eight years. Nate? Looking forward to that, Ed. Thank you.